Okay, so this is a how to rewind a line for a John Surrett, uh 2124 gas trimmer. Now I had a hard time finding out how to do this, so I figured I'd show you. Anyways, there's a line on here which or a direction that says uh, wind the line, and so you wind it in that direction. It says stop winding here. That means as soon as you get up so that the um, thing is full up to this level right there, then you stop winding. You don't want more line on than that. Anyways, so I'm using 0.8 line, 0.08 line, and so I use these holes. You can see there's two lines. I'm using these holes, and I'm going to uh, stick the line in one of them, wind it in this direction, and then click it in here. And so there's the spool. Notice there are two sides to the spool. You fill the outside one first, this one here. So we're going to fill that one first. And you'll notice that there's a direction in which you're supposed to wind the line. And you have to use the right size uh, for whatever size line you're using. I'm using 0 .080 line, so I'm going to use these uh, um, snap-in places. And I'm going to use these holes. There are two sets of holes. You have to use the right size. Anyway, so this is the one. I start on the outside spool, and I'm going to wind in the appropriate direction. So here we go. I'm going to be very careful to wind as much line as I can. So I'm going to do it slowly. All right, so I've wound in the appropriate direction. I've filled up my spool so that it's fairly level across here. There's an arrow. If you see right there, that arrow says, stop winding here. And so you want to fill it up so that the spool is fairly full of cord. Anyways, I was pretty careful, but, you know, it's not perfect. Anyways, and this is the one for the 0.8 line. And so I'll snap it in there. Ah. Get in there. Get it, that's the one. It's supposed to snap. There it goes. Anyways, that's just to hold it while you're filling the other one. Now, had you filled the first, uh, the inner one, or I guess that's probably the outer one, had you filled this uh, spool first, then your line would be crossing and you couldn't fill the outer one. So you have to fill the outer one first. That's the one closest to the motor side, I suppose. All right, now we're gonna repeat the process. We'll just leave, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 inches of line or a foot of line, maybe. And we'll just snip that off. So we're gonna use the right size hole we're going to wind in the appropriate direction and we're going to fill this one as well in the same way as we filled that first one Okay. again being careful to get as much line on there as you can without getting it too tight or bound up okay so this is the business end of the John Thread GT2124 and uh, notice there's a little spring in here that sometimes wants to fall out so be careful you don't lose that little spring. Anyways, the spring is in place, and the head is all threaded up. Notice it's through these two slots. I have to put my string through this hole right here. So let's just see if I can get the first one in. There we go. And I'll just give that a little pull. I'll get the second one in if I can. There it goes. Pull that through the little hole. Notice it's coming down. Don't lose the little spring. And I'll just click it on in place, give it a little push, and when I pull on the cords, like this, then it'll snap out of its little uh, clips, and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to give it a little push, and let's pull on these, push it into place. It's ready to go.